Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. In the last sessions, we already discussed the problems on permutations and combinations. Let's continue the problems related to P and C. See the first question in this session. In how many ways? In how many ways? Eight Indians, four Americans, and four Englishmen be seated in a row so that all persons of same nationality sit together. According to the given question, there are eight Indians, four Americans, and four Englishmen. Four Englishmen. Now, the given condition is all the persons which are belongs to same nationality are sit together. It means all Indians are sit together, all Americans are sit together, all Englishmen are sit together. All Indians, all Americans, all Englishmen are sit together. So it means that we need to take all the eight Indians as one entity. All four Americans are one entity. All four Englishmen are one entity. First of all, these three different entities can be arranged in how many, how many ways? That is, there are three different uh, single entities. Uh, those three different single entities can be arranged in three factorial ways. But this is not the final result. Within the single entities, again, in first single entity, we have eight Indians. We have eight Indians. Eight Indians can be arranged in eight factorial ways. Eight Indians are there. Eight places are there. Eight Indians can be arranged in eight factorial ways. Similarly, we have four Americans within that single entity. Four Americans can be arranged in, again, four factorial ways. Four Americans can be arranged in four factorial ways. Now, coming to Englishmen. Four Englishmen are there in this single entity. These four Englishmen can be arranged in again four factorial ways. Therefore, our required answer is three factorial into eight factorial into four factorial into four factorial. That is the required answer for this question. Here, multiplication is not possible to calculate uh, that much of easy task. So, your answer will be like this only. You need to write down the answer like this. Options are also like that only. There is no need of uh, multiplying all the values. It will get, you will get uh, some big number if you multiply all the values. Okay. In this way, you need to solve the problems. But so many students, what they will do is 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. They will directly write 16 factorial. But this is wrong way of doing the calculation. Here, the condition is very important. All the persons belongs to same nationality. Same nationality in the sense, same country. All eight Indians are together. Four Americans are together. And four Englishmen are sit together. We need to take all those, uh, all these three different country people are uh, in single entity. So that you will get the answer as three factorial into eight factorial into four factorial into four factorial. That is the uh, answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, there are seven questions. There are seven questions in an exam paper. In how many ways can a student solve one or more questions? Total seven questions are there. Student has to solve one or more questions. One or more questions in the sense at least, at least one question at least one question which indicates that minimum one and uh, maximum seven questions uh, he can attempt. Here, if I take uh, only one question he attempted, he solved only one question out of seven. That is 7C1. Selecting one question out of seven, that is 7C1. Suppose if he solved two questions out of seven, 7c2. If we solve 3 out of 7, 7c3. 4 out of 7, 7c4. 
5 out of 7, 7c5. 6 out of 7, 7c6. And last, uh, there is a chance of uh, solving all 7 questions. That is 7c7. Once it is done, as the question is indicating that one or more, one or more in the sense uh, that is minimum 1, maximum 7. You need to add all the values. It is not end condition. If there is an end condition, you need to multiply. If there is an or condition, you need to add all the values. This is your required answer. 7C1, 7. 7C7, 7. 7 1. Next, 7C1, 7C6. Both are same. Why? Because NCR is equal to NC, N minus R. So, 7C1 is equal to 7C6. Similarly, 7C2 is equal to 7C5. Next, 7C3 is equal to 7C4. Once we get these three values, uh, remaining values are very simple. 7C6 is equal to 7. Next, 7C2. 7 into 6 by 2. Here it is 3 times 7, 3 is 21. 7C2, 21. 7C5, that is also 21. Next, 7C3. 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 3 factorial, which is 6. 6, 6 cancel. 7, 5, so 35. This is 35. This is also 35. Now, we need to add all these values. We need to add all these values. See, 35, 35. These two, 70, 21, 21, 42, 7, 7, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. Now you can add all these values. This is uh, 7, 11 plus 1, 12, 127. 127 is the required answer. Guys, this is a general procedure method to solve these kind of problems. But there is a shortcut method for this problem. That is... Uh, Directly, if you want the answer for at least one question to be solved or else one or more questions to be solved, here our required answer is 2 power n minus 1. If there are n number of questions, in order to solve one or more questions, your required answer is 2 power n minus 1. Why? Because here... In permutations and combinations, there is one condition that is NC0 plus NC1 plus NC2 plus and so on plus NCN which is equal to 2 power N, right? But we want here only this term NC1 plus NC2 plus NC3 and so on plus NCN which is equal to this NC0 comes to left, right side nc0 is nothing but 1, so it is minus 1, 2 power n minus 1. Here in this question, n is equal to 7. If you substitute n is equal to 7, this value becomes 2 power 7 minus 1. What is this value? 2 power 7 is equal to 128. 128 minus 1, 127. That is the required answer for this question, 127. Last question in this session. Arrange the letters of the word auction. Arrange the letters of the word auction. A U C T I O N. Auction. In such a way that, in such a way that the vowels always occur together. Vowels always occur together. Find the number of ways. Here, the vowels in this question, in this word, that is A. U, I, O. A, U, I, O. These are the four vowels. According to the given condition, all vowels are occurred together. All vowels are together. Right? Now, what are the remaining consonants left over? C, T, N. These are the remaining three consonants which is left over in this word. Now, we need to take all these uh, Four vowels as single entity. Why? Because uh, all the four vowels are uh, come together. Right? Now, 
total how many letters? 1, 2, 3 plus 1 single entity, 4. These 4 letters can be arranged in 4 factorial ways. These 4 letters can be arranged in 4 factorial ways. This is not your final answer. Why? Because again in single entity we have 4 different vowels. We have 4 different vowels. These 4 different vowels can be arranged in again 4 factorial ways. Therefore our required answer is 4 factorial into 4 factorial. It is not a big number so you can directly calculate the answer. 24. 4 factorial is nothing but 24. 24 into 24. 24 square that is 576. 576 is the required answer. The number of ways in which uh, all these uh, all the vowels of the word auction be together. That is uh, 576. Uh, that is the required answer for this question. Guys, uh, the uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching.